ulnar nerve. In human anatomy, the ulnar nerve is a nerve which runs near the ulnar bone. The ulnar collateral ligament of elbow joint is in relation with the ulnar nerve. The nerve is the largest unprotected nerve in the human body, so injury is common. This nerve is directly connected to the little finger, and the adjacent half of the ring finger, supplying the palmar side of these fingers, including both front and back of the tips, perhaps as far back as the finger nail beds. One method of injuring the nerve is to strike the medial epicondyle of the humerus from posteriorly, or inferiorly with the elbow flexed. The ulnar nerve is trapped between the bone and the overlying skin at this point. This is commonly referred to as bumping one's funny bone. This name is thought to be a pun, based on the sound resemblance between the name of the bone of the upper arm, the humerus, and the word humerus. Alternatively, according to the Oxford English Dictionary it may refer to the peculiar sensation experienced when it is struck. Structure The ulnar nerve originates from the C8T1 nerve roots, and occasionally carries C7 fibers, which form part of the medial cord of the brachial plexus, and descends on the posterior medial aspect of the humerus. Forearm It enters the anterior, flexor, compartment of the forearm between the humeral and ulnar heads, lying under the aponeurosis of flexor carpi ulnaris alongside the ulna. There it supplies one and a half muscles, flexor carpi ulnaris and the medial half of flexor digitorum profundus, and courses with the ulnar artery, traveling inferiorly with it deep to the flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. In the forearm it gives off the following branches. Muscular branches of ulnar nerve, palmar branch of ulnar nerve, dorsal branch of ulnar nerve. Hand After it travels down the ulna, the ulnar nerve enters the palm of the hand through the Guyon's canal. The ulnar nerve and artery pass superficial to the flexor retinaculum, via the ulnar canal. The course of the ulnar nerve through the wrist contrasts with that of the median nerve, which travels deep to the flexor retinaculum of the hand. Here it gives off the following branches. Superficial branch of ulnar nerve, deep branch of ulnar nerve. Function Muscular The ulnar nerve and its branches innervate the following muscles in the forearm and hand. An articular branch that passes to the elbow joint while the ulnar nerve is passing between the olecranon and medial epicondyle of the humerus. In the forearm, via the muscular branches of ulnar nerve. Fluxa carpi ulnaris, fluxa digitorum profundus, medial half, fluxa carpi ulnaris, fluxa digitorum profundus, medial half, in the hand, via the deep branch of ulnar nerve. Hypothena muscles. Opponens digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, fluxa digiti minimi brevis. The third and fourth lumbrical muscles, dorsal interosse, palmar interosse, adductor pollicis, fluxa pollicis brevis, deep head, hypothena muscles. Opponens digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, fluxa digiti minimi brevis. Opponens digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, fluxa digiti minimi brevis. The third and fourth lumbrical muscles, dorsal interosse, palmar interosse, adductor pollicis, flexor pollicis brevis, deep head, in the hand, via the superficial branch of ulnar nerve. Palmaris brevis, palmaris brevis. Cutaneous The ulnar nerve also provides sensory innervation to the fifth digit and the medial half of the fourth digit, and the corresponding part of the palm. Palmar branch of ulnar nerve, supplies cutaneous innervation to the anterior skin and nails. Dorsal branch of ulnar nerve, supplies cutaneous innervation to the posterior skin, except the nails. Clinical significance Entrapment The ulnar nerve can be trapped or pinched as it proceeds from the brachial plexus to the fingertips. One common cause is cubital tunnel syndrome. In this syndrome, a tunnel on the medial side of the elbow traps the nerve. Pinching of the ulnar nerve often causes paralysthesia, tingling, in the fourth and fifth digits. Temporary paralysthesia can be caused by sleeping or poor posture while awkwardly placing weight on one's arm, 
or by cycling for extended periods of time. In severe cases, surgery is performed to move the nerve. Severe entrapment or complete severing of the ulnar nerve can present clinically as an ulnar claw. Injury Injury of the ulnar nerve at different levels causes varying motor and sensory deficits. At the elbow Common mechanisms of injury, cubital tunnel syndrome, fracture of the medial epicondyle, causing cubitus valgus with tardy ulnar nerve palsy, motor deficit, weakness in flexion of the hand at the wrist, loss of flexion of ulnar half of digits, or the fourth and fifth digits, loss of ability to cross the digits of the hand. Note. Motor deficit is absent or very minor in cubital tunnel syndrome as the ulnar nerve is compressed in the cubital tunnel, rather than transected. Presence of a claw hand deformity when the hand is at rest, due to hyperextension of the fourth and fifth digits at the metacarpophalangeal joints, and flexion at the interphalangeal joints, weakness in flexion of the hand at the wrist, loss of flexion of ulnar half of digits, or the fourth and fifth digits, loss of ability to cross the digits of the hand. Note, motor deficit is absent or very minor in cubital tunnel syndrome as the ulnar nerve is compressed in the cubital tunnel, rather than transected, presence of a claw hand deformity when the hand is at rest, due to hyperextension of the fourth and fifth digits at the metacarpophalangeal joints, and flexion at the interphalangeal joints, sensory deficit, loss of sensation in ulnar half of the palm and assume of hand, and the medial 11 slash 2 digits on both palmar and dorsal aspects of the hand. At the wrist. Common mechanism, stab wound, guion canal cyst, motor deficit. Loss of flexion of ulnar half of digits, or the fourth and fifth digits, loss of ability to cross the digits of the hand. Presence of a claw hand deformity when the hand is at rest, due to hyperextension of the fourth and fifth digits at the metacarpophalangeal joints and flexion at the interphalangeal joints. The claw hand deformity is more prominent with injury at the wrist as opposed to a lesion higher up in the arm, for instance, at the elbow, as the ulnar half of the flexor digitorum profundus is not affected. This pulls the distal interphalangeal joints of the fourth and fifth digit into a more flexed position, producing a more deformed claw. This is known as the ulnar paradox, loss of flexion of ulnar half of digits, or the fourth and fifth digits, loss of ability to cross the digits of the hand, presence of a claw hand deformity when the hand is at rest, due to hyperextension of the fourth and fifth digits at the metacarpophalangeal joints, and flexion at the interphalangeal joints. The claw hand deformity is more prominent with injury at the wrist as opposed to a lesion higher up in the arm, for instance, at the elbow, as the ulnar half of the flexor digitorum profundus is not affected. This pulls the distal interphalangeal joints of the fourth and fifth digit into a more flexed position, producing a more deformed claw. This is known as the ulnar paradox, sensory deficit, loss of sensation in ulnar half of the palm, and the medial 11 slash 2 digits on the palmar aspect of the hand, with dorsal sparing. The dorsal aspect of the hand is unaffected as the posterior cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve is given off higher up in the forearm and does not reach the wrist.